Bless the name of the Lord, saints. Amen. In the book of Psalms, the seventh division, uh, verse 17, the psalmist proclaims, he says, I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness and will sing praises to the name of the Lord most high. Amen. Can you help me call upon the name of the most high God this morning? <laughs> Amen. He deserves all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise for truly he's been good unto us. Amen. Amen. Yes. He's had and he is worthy. Amen. So we thank God on this second Sunday, July the 10th, the 20th, and the 20, 22nd year of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. If you would, Saint, there is a word from the Lord today in the book of Colossians. Amen. The book of Colossians. While you're getting there, I'm going to give you some statistical information concerning Colossians. It is the 51st book of the Bible. It contains four chapters, 95 verses, 1,998 words, 92 verses of history, three verses of unfulfilled prophecy, and one question. Its theme shows freedom from the law, all outward forms of religion, rituals, human philosophies, and false uh, mysticism, and complete and real union with Christ in life and conduct. Uh, that's the book of Colossians. In the third chapter of Colossians, beginning at verse number 12, you will find these words. <clears throat> He's to put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body. And be ye thankful. Okay. It's to let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. He said, whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, okay. giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We thank you now, God, for allowing us once again to gather in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, for the gift of salvation that comes through your son, the giving of your only begotten son. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your obedience uh, even unto the death of the cross. We thank you for the love that you have for the Father and the love that you have for mankind. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit that the guides and leads and instructs. We're asking now by that gift, God, that you are granted to us in this moment, God, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, your power, your might, that the counsel of the living Lord and the anointing of the living Lord fall afresh. Come on in, God and occupy our hearts. God, we're asking now that you break up the fallow grounds of our hearts that we may receive what thus said, the word of God. And now God is thy servant. If I stand before your people, God, if I stand with pride, teach me humility. If I stand afraid, teach me to be courageous. But above all things, God, let me not go beyond the boundaries of thine word, but speak as the spirit give utterance. And I'll be so careful, God, to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for it all. For it's in the precious and mighty and wonderful name of Christ, we do pray this prayer. Let the people of God say amen, amen, amen and amen. amen. Uh, glory be to God. Amen. Well, saints, first of all, amen. Glory be to God. All praise, honor, and glory to the Father uh, whom we serve. Amen. I would first of all like to thank Mother Philpott, amen, for a wonderful Sunday school lesson this morning. Amen. It goes to show that the church still has uh, Thomas is in it. Amen. Oh Glory. Have mercy. Uh, when I say that, I mean this. Amen. I mean this in the aspect that I should be able now to just give the benediction because the word of God is already gone. Oh but because God. some folks were where they should have been. Eh? Glory. Have mercy. Amen. Uh, God is yet merciful and will provide <laughs> what? A word. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, this word today will complement that that went forward this morning because the word this morning will complement the message that goes forth today. Amen. Somebody say, that's just how God works. How Amen. God works. Amen. So if you would allow me a, a, a few moments of your time, I simply want to talk from the topic, match. 
Tell somebody, match. Match. Amen, match. Amen. Over the last month, amen, I, I've been looking back at conversations that I've, I've had, amen, conversations that I've been a part of, amen, and, and in those conversations, amen, uh, there have been some words that have gone forth that cannot be taken back. Amen. Uh, it's, it's the one thing about words. Once they proceed out of our mouths, amen, they, they hit the atmosphere and they head uh, uh, to their destinations. Oh and if God. we aren't careful, amen, they will damage vessels that they reach. Oh, amen. Uh, this should remind us uh, to be most careful about what we oh, speak. Amen. amen. And, and so as I considered this, amen, a few things came to mind. Amen. And, and and so I journeyed in, in the book of Colossians. And in the book of Colossians, amen, in the uh, uh, first chapter, amen, of Colossians, uh, you will find the Apostle Paul as he begins to address the church at Colossae. Amen. And, and when I say the church at Colossae, because in verse 2 of the first chapter, it said, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae. He's the grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So, so Paul was addressing the saints. Uh, he was addressing those that are, were faithful to, to God. Amen. Faithful to service. Faithful to what they should be. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Amen. He, he was uh, uh, allowing them uh, or telling them the aspect that, that what you say ought to match how you live and, and how you live ought to match what you say. Amen. Jesus. Somebody say match. match. Amen. But, but, but also in, in, in this book of Colossians, uh, Paul is talking about another match. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Amen. Uh, he's not talking about price match. You know what I'm saying? How we go buy something and, and we try to get the best price and we'll say, can you be such and such got the price down there? And, and can you either match or, or beat that price? You know, some saints, they do that with God. They, they try to uh, price match with God. They, they say, God, you, you gave such and such so and so. Can, can, can I get the same thing. Uh, not somebody say not that kind of match. Hey, glory, have mercy. And then there's a, 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 a that competitive match. You know, there's there's like a a tennis. You know, where they go stroke for stroke, back and forth. Amen. And and, and sometimes we have folk in the church uh, uh, that want to play tennis with God. Amen. They they, they want to try to go stroke with stroke with, uh, with God. It, it, isn't that crazy? Amen. But, but, but tell somebody, tell somebody, I, I'm not talking about that kind of match. Either. Amen. So the, 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 the match that I want to talk about this morning, amen, can, can be summarized like this. A uh, uh, match in the aspect that a person or thing that resembles or corresponds to another. Uh huh, glory. Uh, uh, you know, a replica, uh, a copy, uh, a look alike, uh, a double, uh, a twin, uh, uh, a duplicate, uh, uh, a like, uh, a compliment. That, this is the kind of match I'm talking about. Amen. I, I could have said match God. Amen. But, but somebody say match. match. You know, so our words was would, must match our living. Our living oh, must Jesus match God. our words. But as a Christian, I, I must match God. So, so, so here Paul is talking to the Colossians. Amen. And and I'm not gonna be before you long. Amen. He he's talking to the Colossians here in the third chapter. Amen. And in the third chapter, Amen. Paul is simply telling them a, a few things. He's sharing a few things, amen. He he tells them in verse 5 that there are, are five things they ought to put to death. Amen. Glory be to God, amen. Hey, hey help us today, amen. He he says there are five things, and, and, and he says, mortify therefore, in verse 5, mortify your members which are upon the earth. He said fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence and, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Amen. He, he said these five things, he, he, he said mortify, he said 
put them to death. Fornication, all manner of unlawful sexual relationship, amen. It, uncleanness, uh, homosexuality, and all other forms of sex perversion. Uh, he's an inordinate affection, un, unnatural, unrestrained, excessive and out of bounds passion in lust. Uh, uh, he's an evil concupiscence. I might have not said it right, but but it, it's evil, wicked, and depraved desire, lust, passion, or appetite. Uh, uh, he's the covetedness, uh, uh, also greediness. Uh, uh, he's the idolatry, idolatry, simply because the thing coveted becomes an idol. He, he's these five things. He's he's to mortify. He's he's to put them to death. Amen. Yeah. He was giving the church something. Uh, uh, he was instructing them on, on somebody said how to not only get to holiness, but how to keep it. Oh my God. Ah, uh, glory. Have mercy. And, and he was also instructing them that uh there is also a penalty for when you don't. Amen. Because in verse number six, he said, uh, for which things sake the wrath of God, watch this here, uh cometh on the children of disobedience. Okay. Uh, 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 tell somebody, say, if you don't mortify them, uh, uh, then that means that you're doing them. And if you're doing them, that means you are disobedient. And if you disobey them, somebody say, be careful, because the wrath, the wrath. shall oh, come. Yeah, yeah, glory be to God. Uh, even in the seventh verse, uh, uh, Paul went on to tell them, he said, look, he said, in the which ye also walk sometime when ye lived in them. Amen. So he said, he, he, he so Paul said, look, that, that, that's not who you are now. Amen. Uh, glory. He said, that's not who you are. Why? He said, because now your life is all about match. Mm. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. He goes on to, to tell them. Amen. He says in verse eight, he said, but now ye also, he said, put off. All these uh, anger and wrath and malice and blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Now, now this morning, even in the book of, of Proverbs, the, the third chapter, I believe, or fourth chapter, I believe, the, 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 the Sunday school lesson said, keep thy heart with all diligence, mm -hmm. for out of it are the issues of life. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another text where it says, from the abundance of the mouth. Uh, 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 the uh, you know from the abundance of the mouth, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Hey, hey, glory. So 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 even in that, uh, 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 he was saying that uh, uh, we ought to what line up what we say according to what the word of God and according to what how we live. Uh, we quote Nate, Psalm 19 and verse 14 all the time. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Uh, in Ephesians, the fourth chapter, verse 29, it says, let no communication, no corrupt communication proceed out of your mind. He said, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Mm -hmm. hey, 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 somebody say, watch what you say. Amen. Uh, we have a tendency to say that uh, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say anything at all. Well, well, I'm going to go a little further because I need you to understand that if you can't say nothing good, that lets me know you ain't been reading the word of God. Jesus. All right now, man. Oh, cause there's always something you could see that you could say in the word of God that'll be good. Uh, if it's nothing more than Lord, have mercy. Amen. Uh, we serve a great God. Amen. I'm going to put that in God's hand. There are some things in the word of God that will meet every occasion. Amen. Oh, yes, Lord, have mercy. Amen. All right, and then in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, verse 33, uh, it said, be not deceived. It said, evil communications corrupt good men. Jesus. Oh, 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 glory, have mercy. Uh, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, verse 33, it said, be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good men. Oh, glory, help us today. So, so here the apostle Paul was, amen, uh, uh, helping the church at Colossae. Mm -hmm. Amen, glory be to God. He goes on, amen, and he says in verse number 10, 
He said, well, verse number nine, he says, lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deed, mm -hmm. uh, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Somebody say match. Match. Oh, glory. Have a match. Amen. In, in other words, uh, the new creature you are ought to match, uh, uh, glory, his creator. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Uh, meaning that he ought to be a, a replica of. He ought to copy him. He ought to have be a lookalike uh, as him, a double, a twin. He ought to be a duplicate. He ought to complement. Oh somebody say the word of God. Oh God. Uh, somebody say match. Mm -hmm. Oh glory, help us today. And and so here Paul is. Amen. Glory, have mercy. Uh, he continues on. Amen. And. And in verse number 10, he said, and put on, uh, uh, and have put on the new man. Uh, he said, and have put on the new man. And have put on the new man. And have put on the new man. The problem with us is we keep saying, well, I, I, I'm putting on the new man. No, he said, put on the new man. Uh, somebody said, already dressed. Amen. Uh, he's on. Amen. I may not be walking in everything that I should, but that doesn't mean that I don't have him with me. Jesus. Oh, oh, glory. Have mercy. Hey, hey glory. Have mercy. Uh, it reminds me, y'all, this not even in my notes. Amen. Uh, I think the kids used to watch the show. Uh, 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 what you call them? Uh, 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 they, they, they was a green one. There was a, a blue one. Uh, 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 God, somebody help me. There. Uh, no, 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 no. They they were uh, action figures, and, and they could transform and, and hook themselves. To, no, they, that's what they were. They could hook themselves together, and, and, and they worked together. Together, especially when something was was big and would overpower them. Amen. The Rangers, uh, the, 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 the Rangers. Amen. Uh, what, what, what they call they, 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 some kind of Rangers, uh, Power Rangers. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Uh, and you said, Pastor, Power Rangers. What? Where you get the Power Rangers from? See, although the Power Rangers walked around like you and I. Amen. Uh, they had something in them that would rise to whatever the occasion would be. Amen. <laughs> Only would they rise to that occasion, uh, they would use uh, each other to get the job done. Jesus. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, glory. Amen. <laughs> let, let, let go on. Amen. Glory. Hammers. But, but now let, he said in verse number 10, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. He said, well, there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision or uncircumcision, barbarian, uh, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Amen. Uh, watch this here. He said, Christ is all. He said, but Christ is all and in all. Amen. Well, Christ is in all what? Uh, in verse 10, and put on the new man. But Christ is what? In, in the new man. Hey, glory. Somebody help me today. Hey, hey but, but he goes on. Then he gets to verse number 12. Amen. Amen. And when he gets to verse number 12, Paul said, look, uh, uh, he said, I know you, you, you've had some stuff. You've been through some things and everything. And, and he's now you got the new man. Uh, uh, you put on the new man. He, 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 but he goes on. He said, the new man uh, uh, still has to be dressed. Amen. Somebody said, he, he, said, he got to be dressed. <laughs> uh, glory. Have mercy. Uh, uh, you became a new creature, but, but the new creature still has to be dressed. Amen. Amen. So, so therefore, Paul says in verse number 12 of the third chapter of Colossians, he said, put on, therefore, as the elect of God, uh oh, glory, have mercy. Uh, 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 elect of God. Uh, somebody say the new man is, is elect of God. Amen. Uh, 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 glory. He, 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 Lord, help us today. He said, nevertheless, he said, um, put on, therefore, as the elect of God. Not only are you the elect, but you're holy and beloved. Jesus. Amen. He said, uh, put on bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and uh, uh, forgiving one another. He, he said, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. 
He said, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which also ye are called in one body and be ye thankful. He said, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. He said, whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Well, I could take each one of these verses and, 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 and preach a sermon. Amen. But but I'm going to let them stay together. Is, is, is that all right? For, for somebody say for today only. For today only. <laughs> Amen. See, uh, 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 Paul told us, first of all, uh, he said uh, he told the Colossians, which still, uh, uh, Lord, since he was talking to the saints and talking to the church and talking to the elect, the, the holy and beloved of God, the, the new man, amen, glory. Him. He told the new man there were five things that you need to put to death. Don't, don't play around with them because they'll, they'll get you in some serious trouble. Right. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, glow. See, we, we don't like it when folks uh, say that to us because uh, uh, we don't like folks talking to us in certain ways. But but I need the saints to understand this. Amen. When, when it comes to using our words. Amen. Uh, if we use the truth. Amen. Uh, uh, glory. Have mercy. And in love, uh, the truth in love still can hurt. Amen. But, but the difference between the truth in love and you just so-called being yourself. Amen. Uh, is that yourself will hurt, yourself will harm, yourself will will will, will maim. Amen. Oh you, uh, I heard first lady saying in, in in Sunday school when when she was she said uh, I've heard that church hurt is, is, is the worst kind of hurt, but I need to clarify that just a little bit. Amen. Uh, the reason why church hurt is so bad is first of all because the person that usually gets hurt is not in the position they should be. Amen. Uh, they're too busy looking at people rather than looking at God. And then the other part about that is the people that's doing the hurt. Amen. The people that's doing the hurt uh, ain't, no oh Lord help me today. Y'all ain't gonna like this. Uh, amen. Uh, 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 that, 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 that something is wrong with their match. Oh my God. Amen. Because they've gotten to the point where they think that they can say what they want to say, do what they want to say, that words don't make any difference because I told you the truth. Well, you may have told me the truth, but you didn't tell me the way God said tell me. And since you didn't tell me the way God said tell me, something is wrong with their match. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, uh, that, that, that's all I'm going to say about that. But but, 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 but never the less, amen, glory, have mercy. Uh, Paul here, he told them that there were five things that they needed to mortify, put to death because they caused us more trouble, amen, and, and they caused the wrath of God to come on what? The children of disobedience. Well, then Paul came back, amen, glory, have mercy. Well, let me, let me, oh let me go back to this because, because when Paul told them to mortify, put it to death, amen, he was telling the new man, amen, uh, that he was going to have some stuff that he still would had to deal with, amen. Uh, just because you got saved don't mean your problems go away, amen. But somebody say that some of them can be mortified. Uh, I, I, glory, have mercy. Uh, see, some you mortify and some you just put off. Oh, uh, yeah, y'all know him okay. here, amen. Oh, oh, see, okay. see, 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 because some uh, deal with your character as it is, uh, and some deal with character that's outside of you, like the folks you hang around, the places you go. You don't have to mortify them. You just have to get rid of them. Put them off. Put them off. Oh, my pants. That's good. That's good. Oh, 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 hey, 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 glory, hell mercy, amen, tell somebody, there, there's some things to mortify, things glory, hell mercy, and there's some things that I just gotta put on, let, 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 let them go, amen, amen, so, so here Paul is, uh, he's giving them five things in verse five that they needed to, to put to death, that they needed to mortify, and then he comes back in verses 10 through 14, and, and Paul said, there are nine things you need to Put on, amen, glory. Hammers one was in verse 10, amen. And it was the new man that they had already, what, uh, received, amen. They they had to, what, put him on, amen, glory. Have mercy, amen, verse 10. And he, he, he said, and have put on the new man. Somebody said that, so, so, tell somebody, say you receive salvation. You receive that, That's how you put on yes, the new on. man. That, right. 
There's no other way to get him because salvation comes to who? Jesus Christ. You have to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, and therefore you're able to what? Put on the new man. Amen. And then Paul goes on in, in verse number 12. He tells them, he said, uh, put on uh, the bowels of mercy. Hey, glory, have mercy. Hey, uh, isn't, that, isn't it strange how folk in church uh, don't have uh, mercy for folk in church? Uh huh. That, that why they, that, that's the reason why they say what they want to say. Amen. Because they forget that uh, 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 it took mercy to bring them in. It took mercy to change them. Uh, so therefore, he tells us to what? He tells us to put on the bowels of mercy. In verse 10, he tells us to put on kindness. Uh, tell some, you ought to tell somebody, it don't hurt to be kind. It don't hurt to be kind. Oh, glory, have mercy. You do what hurt us is when we get out of our feelings and folks don't receive it. But it don't hurt to be kind. He said, he said put on kindness. See, he goes on, he said, put, he tells them, what, he, he don't just say put on humbleness. He said, put on humbleness of man. Uh, in other words, don't think you all that. Amen. Glory. Amen. Humble yourself before God. Uh, be reasonable about who you are. Uh oh, somebody. Help me today. Amen. Uh, just because you are a king's kid uh, doesn't give you any right to jump up on the table, beat your chick. So, oh, oh, help us today. Somebody say humbleness of man. Uh, somebody say put it on. And then he tells us to put on, on, on meekness. Hey, yeah, glory. Have mercy. Amen. Uh, somebody say there's nothing wrong with being soft spoken. Uh, eh, there's nothing wrong with, with being gentle. Amen. That, 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 there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, eh, Paul encourages. He said, he said, what? Put it on. He said, he said put on the humbleness of mind. Put on uh, the meekness. And, and then he also says, put on long suffering. Hey, hey, glory. Have mercy. Amen. Uh, somebody said, tell somebody said, have some patience. Have Amen. Patience. Uh, God had patience with you. Amen. Because with some of us, it took us 30, 40, 50 years to receive salvation. Oh, Amen. Uh, uh, glory. Have mercy. Now, if, if that ain't patience. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because he could have killed you and been done with it. Hey, hey, glory. Have mercy. Somebody said, put on. Put on. Long suffering. Jesus. And then he goes on in verse number 13. Amen. He tells us, he said, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. Somebody say, uh, put on forbearance. Put on, forbearance. Uh, uh, put on forgiveness. Jesus. Amen. Lord. Glory. And then he goes on. Uh, he says, uh, uh, if any man, in verse 13, if any man uh, have a quarrel against any, he said, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And then in verse number 14, he says, uh, put on divine love. <laughs> he said, and above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Amen. Uh, uh, these things uh, help uh, uh, us to be matched uh, in God. Amen. God. Glory. Hell mercy. Why? Because God is, 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 is merciful. God is kind. God is is, is humble. God is meek. God is long suffering. God is forbearing. God is forgiving. Amen. And God is full of what? Love. Amen. If, if we're going to be right, tell somebody we must match God. We must look like God in every aspect. We must duplicate God in, in our daily lives. Yes, yes. One thing about God, he speaks to truth amen and not only does he speak the truth he he lives the truth a mm -hmm. hey, hey, glory hammer so so therefore uh if we're going to match amen uh, uh glory hammer so we must be able to do the things that paul has instructed there are some things we must put off uh and there's some things we must what put on there's some things we must mortify ah glory have mercy in order for us to grow to the point that god is simply saying that's where i need you to be well uh, 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 uh paul in this particular book amen he he begins to give the saints a, a lot of valuable information a lot of valuable 
instructions of things that will help us in every uh, aspect of living. Amen. Uh, I, I went to the third chapter, but Paul also began early in the chapter. Amen. Uh, he says early in the third chapter of Colossians, he said, if ye then be risen with Christ. Amen. Glory have mercy. Uh, somebody, uh, have you been risen Yo, with oh Christ? Amen. Uh, if you are a new creature, if you put on the new man, somebody say, I've been risen. God Amen. Jesus. Glory. And since I've been risen, uh, Paul gives us uh, 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 12 amazing things uh, to help us match God by becoming a true Christian. Amen. Uh, if I'm going to be a true Christian, uh, in verse number one, he tells me to seek those things which are above. Uh, uh, somebody help us today. Amen. He to seek those things which are above. Uh, earlier in Sunday school, amen, I, I heard Mother Philpa, uh talking about the things we watch on television. Amen. And it, it, it is amazing that I, when I heard this, uh, I heard folks saying, well, you know, everything is inclusive. They, they show everything. Uh, it ain't nothing off limits. Well, uh, in one aspect, uh, you say there's nothing off limits, but the aspect there is turn it off Uh -huh. I mean, if I'm going to seek those things that are above, amen, uh, when I see things that, uh, that I'm watching that are not giving God glory, amen, uh, and you say, well, I wasn't watching it for that, it just showed up. Well, uh, glory, how much? It's amazing how sometimes the word of God ought to just show up and say, okay, well, turn it off. Jesus, turn it off. <laughs> Let, 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 let's go to something more productive. Let, let's go. Ah, oh, Lord, Jesus. have mercy. We we, 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 don't want that, Amen. But, 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 but the Bible said, if ye then be risen with Christ, then one of the things you got to do is what seek those things which are above. Uh, uh, the problem is that we seek more things uh, uh, beneath than we do above. We, we spend more things on things that are beneath than things that are. Uh, above, hey, hey, glory, have mercy. Hey, he said, so if we're going to match, <laughs> tell somebody, say, if we truly going to be the, the true Christians, uh, if we're going to be those that have risen with Christ, somebody say, I, I got to seek those things which are above. Oh, God. Oh, man. And in verse number two, he tells us, set our affections. <laughs> set your affection on things above, yeah, not yeah. on things on the earth. Amen. Uh, 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 it seems like Paul, the apostle Paul, was telling the Colossians not only to look up, uh, uh, but seek up, uh, serve up. Uh, somebody help me today. Hey, glory. Help me so if we're going to match God by becoming the true Christian, amen, tell somebody we got to seek those things above. Amen. And, and we got to set our affections on things that are above. Uh, well, you know, uh, when I think about affection, amen, uh, affection comes from the what? Heart. Amen. Uh, somebody help me today. And did not the Bible tell us in Sunday school in Proverbs, the fourth chapter, verse 23, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of of life. Uh, keep thy heart with all diligence. Why? Because affection comes from work. The heart. Hey, hey, somebody help me today. And here he is and set your affection on things above. Set your heart on the things of God. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> oh, the true Christian. If we're going to match God, amen, we got to seek those things that are above. We got to set our affection on, on, on things above. In verse 5, we've already read, we got to what? Mortify uh, all sinful members, amen. Uh, I didn't say folks in the church. Um, when I say sinful members, I'm talking about yourself. Stuff that you got going on that you know not right. Uh, don't try to mortify my stuff. I got to mortify my own stuff. Why not try mortifying yours? 
Oh, uh, he, he said, if we're going to match God and by becoming a, a, a true Christian, we got to seek those things above, set our affection on things above, mortify all sinful members. Uh, in verse 8, he told us to, what, to, to put off the old man. In verse 10, he told us to put on the new man. In verse 13, he told us to forbear with all men. In verse 13, he also told us to forgive all men. In verse 14, he told us to put on divine love. Glory, have mercy. In verse 15, hey, glory, have mercy. Colossians, the third chapter, verse 15, it says, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Yeah. Amen. Tell somebody if, if we're going to match God by becoming a true Christian, uh, we got to let the peace of God umpire uh, uh, the life we live. Amen. And not only do we have to let the peace of God umpire the life that we live, the Bible tells us to be thankful. Yeah. Glory. Help mercy. Yeah. You say, well, what you mean uh, that the peace of God umpire the, the, the life? Yeah. The umpire calls it when it's out of bounds. He calls the strikes. He calls the ball. He lets you know when it's in play. Uh, somebody help me today. Uh, somebody say, if you got the Holy Ghost, uh, he'll umpire this thing called life because the peace comes with him. <laughs> yeah, oh, he man. tells us, he said, match God by becoming a, a true Christian, by letting the peace, uh, uh, let peace umpire the life that we live. And, and, and he says, be thankful. Oh, glory. In the latter part of the verse, he said, and be ye thankful. Uh, do I got anybody out there that want to thank God uh, for how good he's been to you? Anybody out there want to thank God for being a keeper? Anybody want to thank God for being a deliverer? Anybody want to thank God for being a healer? Anybody just want to thank and say thank God? And be Jesus. Thankful. Thank and then uh, if we're going to match God uh, by becoming a true Christian, uh, in verse 16, when it said, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Uh, I just want to put it in a simple way for you. If we're going to match God by becoming true Christian, tell somebody you need to know the Bible. Oh, Jesus. He said, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Somebody say, know the Bible. Know the word. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. And then in verse 16, he also tells us to teach and admonish one another. Uh, uh, glory. Have mercy. Somebody say, lift up your brother. Lift, up. lift up your sister. Oh Edify them, build them up, give them hope, the hope of Christ, amen, the deliverer, amen, the one who's able to do exceedingly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Tell somebody, say, the new man has power. Oh, my God, the new man has power. <laughs> and then the, the last thing I want to tell you, we're going to match God by becoming true Christians, amen. Uh, Oh, I like the way I, I read this in one book. Uh, it said that uh, use the Christian's power attorney. Yeah, hey, glory. Amen. It, it can be found in verse 17. Uh, uh, the Christian's power turn, attorney. It says, and whatsoever ye do, in word or deed, <laughs> do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, oh my God. giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Oh, glory. Have my, somebody say, use the Christian's power attorney. <laughs> glory, have mercy. <laughs> and whatsoever ye do in word or deed, <laughs> do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, that's my power attorney, Jesus Christ. Amen. He can plead my case like nobody else. Amen. Matter of fact, the Bible tells me he's in heaven now pleading my case oh my by simply telling the Father, <laughs> I, I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. Because that one is a match. Ah, glory. Hell mercy. I plead the blood because that, that new man is a match. I plead the blood because that new woman is a match. Uh, somebody say match. Mm -hmm, my God, match. And then in the latter part of this text, amen. The Apostle Paul begins to 
give men and women and children uh, directioning when it comes to the word of God. Mm. So today I leave you simply with this. Match God by becoming a true Christian. There are things that God has called for us to do. Amen. That there's no time to be lacking. Amen. The world we live in, glory, have mercy. Uh, it's a dying world. Amen. And, and a dying world needs hope. Amen. And, and the hope lies within us now. Amen. And, and the hope is Jesus Christ, uh, the answer to, to all things. Amen. Glory, have mercy. So we, the people of God, uh, in order to be a match uh, 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 that God wants us to be, to, to be that lookalike, amen, to be that replica of, of what it's to be to be a Christian, not just by, because uh, 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 we say we want, but, but because we say and live uh, the word of God, because we preach and teach the word of God, because we are seeking those things, what, that are above, amen. Our hearts are set, what, on Christ Jesus. We are seeking him each and every day of our lives. You ought to tell somebody, match. Match. Amen. Matter of fact, if you're a match, tell somebody, I'm a match. Jesus, I'm a match. Amen. I'm Glory. Match. Tell me, ask somebody, say, are you a match? Are you a match? Are you a match? Are you seeking God each and every day with your whole heart? This is how we become a match. When God shows us things that are not right in our life, he's not showing us to hurt us. He's not showing us to damage us. He's showing us simply because he wants us to be just like he is. And in order to do that, there are some things that we got to continue to put off, some things that we got to continue to mortify some things that we got to continue to walk in, to put on, amen. The Bible tells us, even when it comes to the armor of God, the, the writer tells us what? To put on, to put on the whole arm, amen. Uh, tell somebody, there's some things in this life when it comes to a Christian that you just got to do. Gotta do, Jesus. <laughs> you gotta do some putting on, <laughs> and you gotta do some taking off, Jesus. amen. Go ahead. Yes, Lord Jesus, if we're going to be true Christians. We're living in a time, y'all, where we can't just talk the talk. Amen. Our, our talk and our walk got to line up with the word of God. It ain't got to line up with what people say. Jesus. It's got to line up with what God says. Amen. Glory be to It's got to line up with this, the holy word of God. And the only way it's going to line up is that we got to seek it. We got to get in it. We got to want it. We, we got to stay in it. Amen. Glory be to God. This world we live in, y'all, it ain't going to get no better. Jesus. But that don't mean that you can't get Jesus. no better. Amen. Because everything we need, <laughs> we got each other, according to the word of God, what? To edify yeah. each other, to build each other up. We got the word of God, what? To edify to build us up, to correct us, to instruct us, to guide us. Hey, glory. Amen. And then we got another gift on top of that, on the inside called what? The Holy Ghost. So we got every tool we need from the kingdom of God Jesus. to be the lookalike. Somebody say to be the match. So let's go on in the name of Jesus and be the match that God is calling us to be the true Christian. Let us pray. Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We thank you for your word, God. We thank you, God, that your word is true. Your word is righteous. Your word is holy, God. Your word is a, is a keeper, God. Yes, it is. It's oh, a God. deliverer. Thank it's you. a sustainer, God. It's everything we need it to be simply because it is your word. And we thank you for it, God. We pray now, God, that the word of God has truly been sown on good ground, God, and that we as the people of God will be the match that we're supposed to be according to your word. We love you, God. We appreciate you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, Jesus. we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. If you're listening to this broadcast, amen, and you're sitting there pondering, amen, 
Ah, uh, that that that's the better way. And I just I just don't know what it is. Well, I'ma offer it to you today. Amen. It comes in the form of Jesus Christ. Amen. God's only begotten Son, the one that He sent. Amen. To Calvary's cross. Amen. To to uh, to wipe out your sins, to forgive you of your sins, to to be able to uh, offer to you the new man. And so today we offer to you the new man that comes through Christ Jesus. The Bible says, according to Romans, the 10th chapter around verse nine, it said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth and believe in thine heart that God raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, thou art saved. You ain't got to run down the street. You ain't got to call mama. You ain't got to converse with nobody else. This is between you and God. Amen. So if you confess and believe that God gave his only begotten son for your redemption, for your sins. Amen. And believe it in your heart and confess it with your mouth by receiving him as Lord and Savior of your life. The Bible say you're saved. Yes, yes, yes. And, and I'm in agree. I, I am in agreement with the Bible Jesus. that you are saved, sanctified by the word of God. And if you believe that, I want you to pray this prayer with me today. Say, Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, I thank you, God, that he was given for the redemption of my sins, that he was given, God, that I may have eternal life, that he was given that I may be offered salvation and because he was obedient unto death i accept the salvation that comes in his name until and, and as of this day god i will serve you with my whole heart i am so thankful god in jesus name i pray amen amen, amen and amen. amen the bible tells me that the host of heaven rejoices when a sinner becomes a saint. Amen. And so today, not only is the host of heaven rejoicing uh, in, in heaven, but the host of heaven on this side, his children, the saints, we're rejoicing with you. Amen. Welcome to the kingdom. Welcome to God. Uh, kingdom. Amen. You are now a child of the most high God. Amen. And we welcome you in. Amen. And we thank God for you. Amen. Uh, after this broadcast, the devil is going to try to make you think that you don't have salvation, but the word of God says that you do. And if God said that you do, it's a done deal. Amen. It is. Amen. Because the God we serve only speaks truth. Amen. Only speaks truth. Amen. So we thank God for you and we welcome you into the kingdom of the most high God. For the already born again saint, amen. I, I want you to get your match on, amen. I want you to get your match on. I want you to get your, your match on, amen. I want you to get your match on. I want you to stay in the word of God. I want you to stay connected with God. Con stay connected with the people of God. Um, the Bible says that we all been given gifts, amen. And those gifts are for the edifying, the building up of, uh, 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 of the children of God, for the, the work of ministry, amen. For So that we what, can edify one another, that we can keep each other strong and healthy in the in the word of God, to help one another when we're going through. So, so let's do that, amen, by being what? The match that God has called called us to be. Amen. See, a lot of things we want God to do, but God is giving us the authority to do them. So, so let's do them. Amen. And, and, and since he's given us that authority, let's put on everything he say we ought to put on and let's take off things that he say we ought to take, take off. off. Let's mortify things he say we ought to mortify. Yep. Amen. Jesus. Glory. Hammer. Let's do what the word of God says that we can, so we can truly be the people of God. I thank God for you, and I appreciate you. I thank you for tuning in today. Amen. Glory be to God. And I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday night for Tuesday night Bible study. Amen. 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 Glory to have mercy. Well, that's the word of God for the children of God, for the people of God, for us. Amen. Match. Amen. Let's be a lookalike. Amen. Let's be a replica of, of what a saint ought to be or what a Christian ought to be by what? The Being word the word of God, by Jesus. living the word of God, speaking the word of God. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Well, if all minds and hearts are clear, amen. As we prepare to lead this broadcast, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now, God, for your word that is going forward, God. We thank you, God, for how you blessed us, God, to be able to 
to hear your word, God. And I pray that it has been sown on good ground. Now, God, as we prepare to leave uh, this broadcast, but never your presence, God, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you will go uh, with us, in us, speak for us, through us, and on our behalf, God. Let every word that we say, God, match uh, our living in you, God. Uh, we're asking, God, that you would continue, God, to deliver, make whole, God, make free, God. We're, we're asking, God, that we would have the mindset, God, to receive what you're doing in our lives, God. Uh, and when the enemy comes, God, uh, to let him know that we should not be moved because of the God we serve. Amen. Amen. We thank you, God, and we appreciate you for it all. For us in the precious and mighty and wonderful name of Christ, we do pray this prayer that the people of God say amen, amen, amen and amen. Man, well, saints, it's been an honor and a privilege to share with you the word of God. I pray that the word of God has blessed you today. Amen. Once again, I thank you, Mother Phil Pot, for setting the atmosphere. Amen. And, and I thank God, amen, for making that atmosphere complete. Amen. Until we meet again, as always, I want you to be thankful, be blessed, and be in God.